you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 20th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 5 verses 27 to 32 After this he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth and he said to him follow me and he got up left everything and followed him then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house and there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with them the pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples saying Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, In today's Gospel, by his grace jesus calls levi a tax collector from the custom post to be his followers and apostles it is a wonderful consolation that he admits poor fishermen to be to be his disciples men of the lowest rank but much more wonderful than he admits publicans men of the worst reputation and men of ill fame in this instance Christ humbles himself and appears in the likeness of sinful flesh. By this he exposes himself and gets the true character of a friend of publicans and sinners. What a friend? What is a friend? What is a friend? Raymond Barron asked. He said that friends are people with whom you dare to be yourself. You are soul your soul can be naked with them they asked you to put on nothing only to be with what you are they not want you to be better or worse when you are with them you feel as a prisoner feels who has been declared innocent you do not have to be on your guard you can say what you think as long as it is genuinely you friends understand those contradictions in your nature that lead others to misjudge you with them you breathe freely you can how oh, your little vanities and envies and hates and uh, vices sparks your meannesses and uh, absurdities and in opening them up to friends they are lost dissolved on the white ocean of their loyalty they understand you do not have to be careful you can abuse them neglect them and tolerate them best of all you can keep still with them it makes no matter they like you they are like fire that purges to the bone they understand you can weep with them sing with them laugh with them and pray with them through it all and underneath they see they see no and love you what's friend just one i repeat with whom you dare to be yourself yes jesus is our friend you may have neglected the friendship or been out of touch for a while from him but the lord continues to have an intimate and a growing relationship with each one of us who comes to him he is ready whenever we are to renew the friendship our friend jesus is waiting to hear from us If so then let's get back and be in touch with him okay let's build friendship with jesus into our life story amen may god bless you